What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sincerely Glove, the bald head black anime nerd, back with my review of One Piece Manga Chapter 944, Partner. Straight off the bat, bro, this chapter was fucking fire. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, like a fire-ass fucking chapter. Considering the fact that the last, like, 5 out of 10 chapters were just set-up shits, this is a good-ass fucking payoff chapter, and I feel like it's just gonna keep going up from here in terms of, like, the action and, like, turmoil and shit like that. Um, so I hella fuck with it. Thank you, Oda, for giving us this great work of art. Um, aside from that, we can kind of get straight into it. Like, chapter cuts out, starts out the fucking Straw Hat reunion or part of the Straw Hat reunion um, happens in the, at the in the capital, at, you know, at the uh, execution site, which is fucking lit. Zoro pissed the fuck off. Um, I know a lot of people expected for Zoro and Sanji to have a little bit more witty banter back and forth. Um, in terms of you know this is the last this is the first time they have been together since like fucking dress rosa sometime um which is you know crazy in and of itself but a lot of people expect a little bit more but i'm cool i'm patient they're together now although it seems like oda is gonna split them up uh like soon to you know have them regroup or you know rendezvous somewhere else uh i i am enjoying what i'm seeing now and i'm, I'm willing to wait I haven't seen, like, I don't, I can't remember the last time we've seen Zoro this fucking mad. Like, I really can't remember the last time we've seen him this mad. Like, he's pissed. He tried to off Orochi, which was fire, by the way, which set up, uh, Kyoshiro jumping in, blocking the, uh, 720 pound Phoenix, which is crazy. Cause I'm like, shit, we're finna get fucking Zoro versus Kyoshiro. Like, god damn, you finna do us like that? Oh no, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Like, What's crazy is he like Kyoshiro like blocked the attack and Zoro ain't even really give a fuck. Like he was just straight like, nah, I'm I'm on that. So like when Zoro threw the attacks, Sanji's like basically telling him like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? We not here to be fighting. We supposed to we you gonna blow our cover? Like he he died so that our plan could live on. What the fuck is wrong with you? In comes Drake with the shits. Like look, that's that Sanji nigga. He dipped on us at the uh, bathhouse. We on his ass. I'm like, oh shit, Sanji dodges the shit. Now we setting up Sanji versus Drake, mid-fight. Uh, Drake looked kind of more pissed than I expected, so I'm really curious to know what the fuck happened in that bathhouse. Um, I hope Oda like kind of gives us more backstory on that. But the Sanji v. Drake setup was perfect. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and just the, the, the entire page of all of the Straw Hats fighting off all these samurai and doing what they got to do to, you know, kind of stick up for their own was lit. Like Zoro telling telling uh, Frankie, cover me. Frankie got it. Blocking all the bullets and shit. I'm, yo, this shit is lit. Like, I cannot wait to see this shit animated. Like, and, you know, they going with the new art direction and new animated director. So I'm super fucking pumped. To see this whole Wano shit play out, but uh, yeah, it was it was it was it was over the top. You know, obviously, like I said, Nami and them, they kind of stated, "Hey, we need to regroup. We need to find a, uh, another place to reconvene, rendezvous." Um, so because our you know our cover's blown at this point, uh, Roshi gets gets buried back to the castle. Zoro starts his fight with Kyoshiro, um, and then we cut back to the prison. So things kind of get a little bit interesting there, but the the chapter still continues to turn up. Um, Luffy's obviously watching. His, you know, his the crew fight on the big screen. He like pumping them up and shit. That shit was funny as hell. Like, oh hey, yeah, chop their ass to pieces. Like, yeah, get shit, Luffy. You know them, yo niggas, bro. You know they, you know they gonna hold that shit down, nigga. Queen's also watching. Like, oh, these are your people, funny as hell. Like, he's just laughing at the shit. But he basically, he he basically not really giving a fuck. Next thing you know, we get, you know, Queen gets the call. Like, hey, Queen, we got some old prisoners coming in. It's fucking Kamazu the killer and kid now no big surprise here kamazo the killer is killer so i know that a lot of a lot of people in the one piece community theorized that kamazo the killer was killer but then it somewhat got debunked or like you know kind of like proven wrong after he just got one shot by fucking zoro and it's like Yo, Killer, you know, he wears a mask. He doesn't use these weapons. What's up with all these bandages? Like, his hair was kind of different. Like, it was in a ponytail instead of being, like, laid straight out down his back like he usually is. I was like, damn, is this what, you know, is this really Killer? But, like, 
we, he was the only person with the name the killer in his name so it was that, that was where the tie-in came from but it has been confirmed that that guy was killer um this personally was probably the saddest part of the chapter to me honestly i i am like a huge supernova huge rookies fan i fuck with all the rookies no matter who they are no matter what we've seen or haven't seen i fuck with all the rookies because they rookies and them them niggas because anybody in the same class with luffy is them niggas because they got to be them niggas they're the worst generation for a reason and we come to find out killer clearly has been force fed the the smile fruit because he can only smile he was crying the whole time probably because at some point he linked up with um kid or kid probably found him while he was you know out escaping got upset because he saw that he was smiling and laughing and he wasn't himself and charged that anybody just out of anger got taken down got brought back to the prison and that's when we find out you know what the fuck you know kids telling talking to killer like yo what if what the fuck did they do to you what what could make you possibly do this to a to a human being how could you you know you never liked your 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 laughs uh, we get a little bit of the kid killer relationship like the, some of their backstory um and it's like it's like damn man what did you do to my partner and i was like fuck bro that's fucked up and i immediately start thinking like what the fuck would have happened if that was like a luffy zoro type of situation like damn like you know what i mean um what i will say is you know what i've discussed with a few of my friends is kind of like that's probably setting up uh you know we need to cure these people of this this you know smile disease and that's an interesting topic to touch on for a couple reasons well one us touching on you know this this the smile thing yes smile is an artificial devil fruit it was made but it still holds the properties of devil fruits so curing a smile devil fruit meaning you know you're, you're curing the whole smile side effect does that also mean that you're now curing devil fruits because if that's the case are, is Oda really about to open up the lane to there could potentially be a cure for devil fruits it's like damn that 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 really throws a wrench in all of one piece because if there's a cure for devil fruits why hasn't the military you know what i'm saying gotten a hold of this uh you know why isn't it being weaponized like this this type of stuff but this also could mean that they're potentially just leading us to uh, a cure for the smile portion of devil fruits which you know makes sense i don't know how it's going to play out but i am interested to find out I, I i assume that they're going to try to cure the smile versus curing the whole thing like this person probably still can't swim but they won't be forced to smile anymore and i'll be okay with that but if oda goes in the direction of trying to just erase the whole fruit itself that's gonna open a crazy ass door because it's like yo now y'all can cure devil fruits like that shit wow a person eating a devil fruit and, and being able to swim but still having powers is overpowered as fuck like you can't just make them super op like that. like they gotta have some fucking weakness you know what i mean besides hockey everybody in the world don't know fucking hockey the queen begins to torture these motherfuckers on some you know y'all left that's treason y'all gonna you know this you have to die for that you know what i mean so he's torturing them luffy's getting pissed because luffy recognized the killer you know off gp like damn that's buddy with the mask that's fucked up he know that that's his peer you know his little rival type of peer thing queen recognized that and he like you know like i'm finna off these dudes you know what matter of fact for as long as you stay alive is as long as they gonna be in that tank dying so he's like what the fuck i ain't got shit to do with that which is true but it's like no nah, nigga i see that shit but then we get get to the to the meat and potatoes in my nux taco voice of what the fuck is going on queen pissed because he ain't had his or uh, 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 shuro or whatever the fuck that food is today and so <laughs> he don't really give a fuck he like i want all you motherfuckers to die. which is fucking lit because i'm like oh shit luffy gets mad throw a punch queen say no nigga fuck out of here throw his motherfucking hand out and I'm like, oh shit, I love it. I love it. Cause niggas, niggas this whole time been saying like Queen, Queen, Luffy finna one shot Queen once he mastered this shit. Like, ain't finna be no 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 competition. And you know, I'm I've been one of them niggas like, look, man, Queen been sitting on the sidelines watching this nigga the whole time. I highly doubt he's underestimating him or he either knows for a fact, nigga, no, he he straight up told Luffy, you thought you was finna live? You thought shit was sweet? Nigga, no! You're not getting out of here alive, and I'm pissed, bro. I want all you niggas off. Chapter ends with all the guards at the front uh, gate being fucked up because Big Mom is here. 
Holy shit. We've been waiting 12 chapters for this bitch to get to the fucking prison. She finally here. Queen knows, well, doesn't know it's her. You know it's somebody at the fucking gate. Next chapter is about to be lit. It's about to be fucking lit, bro. There's no break next week. This shit is this shit is about to be interesting as fuck. I'm praying to God that we get a Queen V Big Mom fight. If he's pissed right now, he might just be mad enough to try to take on Big Mom. But because I know he has a transponder snail that connects di directly to Kaido, he damn near just let Kaido know and Kaido damn near come down there. But either way, the prison break is happening next week. It's happening next week. We finna find out who the fuck uh, Kawamatsu is. All of them finna get, Luffy finna get the fuck up out of that. Queen finna get knocked the fuck out. Like, it's, it's about to be some crazy shit going up. Kid and Killer, you know, they coming out. This is gonna start, this is starting the Supernova team up, bro. Because Luffy's gonna save Kid and Killer. He's gonna make sure, yo, grab them. Get them out of that water, bro. He's gonna make sure they get saved before they dip. And now it's gonna be a look. We all mad at Orochi. Cause Killer's mad at Orochi for what the fuck. I mean, Kid is mad at Orochi for what the fuck he did to Killer. L uh, Luffy's mad at Orochi for just everything he just watched on TV. Zoro's mad at Orochi for what the fuck just happened to uh, uh, Yasu. <clears throat> it's just a whole lot of shit. Drake is mad because Asanji been you know slobbing up on Nami titties. Like it's a lot of shit going on, and I just can't fucking wait for it. So like I said, guys, man, this chapter was fucking lit. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you uh, thought in the comments below. Let me know what you think the you know how the next chapter is gonna turn out. Um, do you think that the smile devil fruit is gonna get cured? Do you, how, who do you think is gonna cure it? Is it Chopper? Is it Vegapunk? Who is it? Uh, let us know what the fuck is going on. Let me know. Um, I'm actually gonna be dropping some new content. I uh, got a podcast I'm actually hopping on, so I'll be dropping a few clips, maybe even a whole thing on the uh, on the chapter on the my channel. So be on the lookout for that. Um, other than that, fuck with your boy, like, comment, subscribe, Sensei Le Glove, out.